How's it going everyone? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to Steins Gate, my darling's embrace. There is one more route that we need to go down and apparently this one requires you to do specific things in a specific order in order to unlock it. Very much similar to the original Steins Gate when trying to unlock that final ending. So I pulled up a random steam walkthrough. We're going to go down it. Hopefully I don't make any mistakes, and hopefully we'll be able to jump into Mayuri's route. She is the last one. Apparently her route is a little longer from what I've heard and seen. I haven't seen anything, but from what I've heard, it's a little longer than all the others, and I don't know if it's, like, more serious, but what is serious <laughs> compared to a lot of the things that we've seen here? I don't know. Also, apologies for taking a little bit of a break from Steins Gate. I kind of just wanted to step away. I've been recording a lot of Steins Gate, or maybe not a lot, but I've been kind of stuck with Steins Gate recently. And I don't mean stuck in a bad way or anything like that. Trust me. Okay, so we're just going to uh, be skipping through all that we've seen. And at certain points when we get mail, we need to... Uh, oh, we... Wait, yep, let's let's skip that. At certain points when we get mail, we need to respond in a certain way. Or we need to ignore. So I will uh, cross my fingers that I'm able to follow directions. This is a, uh, a big thing here. Like here, we have mail. Am I supposed to respond? Who the hell knows? Uh, apparently no. It says here that it's vital that we don't reply to any mail before the time and date mentioned below in this walkthrough, unless we are forced, and here we are seemingly forced to check mail, and it is from Shining Finger. This is something that is forcing us. I can't click away or anything like that. So we just gotta go down this method, and, and again, here we go. I have to check mail, and there we go. So we'll uh, just go through. We'll see how things end up. And I will uh, stop the skipping, or the cutting out of the video, whenever we get to a point where I need to respond to a mail. Fingers crossed here, boys. Okay, here is our first required thing to do here. And of course, it's from Mayuri, so it makes sense. We did get some mail previously from the other characters, so I guess it makes sense to skip those and to only pay attention to messages from Mayuri. Might not be able to make it to the lab today. I got a whole bunch of homework to do. Save me. We need to choose the first option. And it says, Do not reply to any mail that isn't from the person that sent you the mail mentioned above unless the guide says otherwise. So there, there you go. It even says it right there. We only reply to Mayuri. You fool, if you had planned ahead, your summer homework wouldn't have been a problem. Your lack of discipline has come around to bite you in the butt. Damn, we're being an asshole here. But that's okay. We need to be an asshole here. Alright, back to it. I also, um, as we get another mail from Mayuri, never noticed that our mail being received is a great way of telling what time of day it is. Because obviously in the top left you know the date and the actual day of the week. But in terms of time, it, it gives it to you right there in the mail. So, I don't know, kind of interesting. So in this one we need to reply with the second option. Mayushi's not being lazy. I'm super busy with work at May Queen, making new cosplays for Kamima, and going to supplementary classes at school. I'm really busy. Kamima, huh? That starts on the 15th, right? You and Daru always have it rough around this time of year. I don't remember any of these, so I'm assuming that we're going down some new conversations, which is good. That's what we want. And there we go, here's the next one. Or at least I think it is, my phone locked on me. Alright, Mayushi's never thought of it as rough, it's so much fun, let's go together this time, Okarin. So we reply to this mail, 1508, yep, that is correct. I have no time for that. There's too much I must accomplish if I hope to bring chaos into the world. I can't be wasting my precious time at hanging out at Kamima, yeah. 100% on that one. Alrighty. There we go. 
Yep, there's my Yuri again. Okay, shut up. But if you change your mind, just tell me. Uh, it says here, read but don't reply to the mail received at this time. Well, we can't even reply, so I guess we're good to go on that one. And there should be another one on the same day later in the day at 2139. And here it is. Mayushi's now on the train. Thanks for walking me to the station. Yes, we did do that, if you guys recall, like a year ago whenever I started recording this or whatever. Probably more than a year ago. Yeah, it's definitely more than a year ago. Okay, so for this one, it's the second option, the thanks. No need for thanks, I simply did what I had to do. That sounds more like what I may have chosen back then. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. You're the sweetest, I'm glad I'm your hostage. I actually don't remember that being a response. I'm gonna be totally honest. So this is the one at... 2148, we have to reply. Sweet, are you out of your mind? I'm the mad scientist that drives fear into the hearts of men, women, and children all around the world. That sounds like something we'd say. And by we, I mean Okabe. Definitely not something I, with, you know, morals and all that, would say. Ooh, an image. So it says here... On August 6, open the attachment to the mail received at 2213. If you're on the right track, a certain place is mentioned in the mail's text. There's no place mentioned at all if you aren't. Mayushi likes mad scientists who are super sweet. Oh, tomorrow I have supplementary classes till noon, and then I'm off to May Queen. I'll probably be late to, uh, late to the lab, excuse me. And our attachment is that. Why is that our attachment? Is that supposed to be a sign or something like that? And then after that, we keep skipping. And then on August 7th, when we are prompted to open our phone, navigate to the contacts list, and choose the only contact that the game allows you, then we have to send a mail after not opening the phone when asked to three times. So there we go. So back to the old skipping, I suppose. Okay. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. So I should probably save the game as I had before in similar cases. And now we just have to uh, do this at the right time. But when? Everything is set up. Just have to send the D-mail. Okay, but we don't want to. So he's doing this for us, but... Now we can skip through this. We're going to... Uh, so this is the first time. We don't want to do this the first time. We want to do it the fourth time, right? After this, send the mail after not opening your phone when asked to three times. So we do it on the fourth time, right? That's that's how that statement is structured. Right? We have to skip through all this. You want to know what I noticed whenever I was skipping through is that the, uh, the, the main route really sets up a lot of hints for events that are going to occur later on in the game. Like, you, you hang out with all the characters and all that, and you kind of get an idea as to how things are going to be with them. It's kind of interesting when you kind of go back and see it all through. Okay, there's number two. So now we do number three. And we're going to skip this one as well, and then number four is the one where we open it up. Come on. Damn, Okabe, and your indecisiveness. Okay, this time for sure. All right. Let's do it. I hope I uh, I did this right and followed instructions correctly. I can only hope, really. If we can skip here, then we're fucked. My reading Steiner activated this feeling doesn't lie. Okay. I think we're I think we did it. Nice. A cocktail of dizziness and blurring sight. Everything loses its color and form, finally giving way to emptiness. Until things slowly regain their presence. So what's going on in this one, huh? Alright, Fahrenheit... Excuse me? I get some water after that one. That was a wild, uh... Ten minutes of skipping. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. Once I manage to... Shake off the after effects of my reading Steiner, I looked around the lab. You know, I'm really happy that I didn't have to 
uh, go through the game and get the other routes because I recently had to re uh, reinstall Windows and everything else, just start fresh. And I lost my progress on You and Me and Her, which is another playthrough I'm doing right now. And that kind of sucked. It, it didn't take long to skip through, but in a game like that, there's choices to make, and you want to make the same choices you did on your playthrough route, or, or as you're going through the playthrough, the choices that I had made without a walkthrough, if that makes any sense. It's really quiet in here, as if the chaos that had overtaken us was all a bad dream. Mayuri is at a table staring at a textbook with a look of concentration. Beside her, Lukako, who hadn't been at the lab before, is flipping through a dictionary with an equally focused look. Daru is watching Nico Nia live on his computer with headphones on. I hear a clatter of a keyboard from the development room, and it's probably Kirisu conducting an experiment or something. I look at my right arm and it is mercifully free of future gadget number 12, Kitasu and my constant tormentor. <sighs> Looks like we sent the D-mail without a hitch. I mean, we just escaped danger. No, <laughs> Mayuri gives me or gave me a questioning look. I didn't want to talk about what had led us to send the D mail, so I tried to divert her suspicions. Didn't Lukako said or say that he was done with his homework already? I suppose that must have changed as well. Mayuri's pencil seemed to droop in her hand as she sighed. <laughs> We removed its door for an experiment, so we can't use it as a regular microwave. Mayuri stood up and looked into the development room like she was confused. Just as she did, Kirisu emerged, she must have overheard us. I hurried to the development room. Then phone wave name subject to change was as fully intact as the day we transformed it from a regular microwave into the phone wave name subject to change. In short, it's in its original condition, the door is still on, and it can still microwave things. I turn it on just to be sure. I take the coffee that Kirisu left on the table, place it in the phone wave named subject to change, and press start. The turntable rotated normally, and the coffee in the cup was warmed up. I see. Reconsider D-mail experiment indeed. It looks like I stopped modifying the phone wave name subject to change after receiving my own message. So we didn't yank the fucking door off and go further with it. When I returned from the development room, Kirisu was sitting in front of the table and helping Mayuri and Lukako with their homework. I need to figure out who wrote this Steam guide. It was by Kiri Kiri Basada. So thank you to that user for helping this play throughout. Unintentionally, of course. Kirisu deftly solves the difficult seeming problem. I was struck by, or struck with admiration for a second, but quickly shook it off. 
It's only natural for her to be good at English. She's from the States. Mayuri, so she Luca call you. Korekarawa, Wakaranaikota, Kono, oh, in Kyo Manitas Nergai. Shikudai Nado, Ikra demo, Sete Aro. I'm sure we'll be great help. Saki Kitakedo, Okarini, Jibun de Kanga, Rote, Waretayo. Nani? I looked at Lukako. He gave me a slightly concerned nod. That doesn't or that does sound like something I'd say though. No, it can't be. Well, <clears throat> Wait, we're in college, right? What the fuck are we studying? Daru interrupted me while he was getting something to drink out of the fridge. Daru sat in front of the computer again and resumed watching Nia live. Between that and Kitasu working with Lukako and Mayuri on their homework, I felt like a third wheel. I slunk off to the development room. You know, back on Daru, I think it's a good thing that I did take a little bit of time away because, man, Daru was such an asshole in that last route that it really just soured my whole mood with him. Hmm, I suppose I'll work on developing some future gadgets. And that's what I should have been doing in the first place, anyway. Mm -hmm. When I look at the shelf where our gadgets are stored, I notice a piece of paper affixed to the wall. I had overlooked it while I was focusing on the phone wave named subject to change, but it appears to have my writing on it. It says we're postponing our experiments on the phone wave. However, you may use it as a regular microwave. <laughs> I must have made this decision predicting the potential dangers of D-mail. Below my note was charmingly crude drawing, or was was charmingly crude drawing by Mayuri with the message, try to limit the uses to five a day, be sure to save energy. Mumbling to myself, I grabbed a notebook to sketch out some ideas. I see an open envelope in between the pages of the notebook. It says payment due and please use our convenient payment system. I took the bill out of the envelope and looked at it. Uh, what's this? A strange sound gurgled out of me. As you might have imagined, the bill was obscene. <laughs> いい showed the bill to Daru, but he was unperturbed. The dates would line up. I did concept and create the phone wave last month. And I've been doing non-stop experiments on it ever since. ただでさえ消費電力が大きいのにあんなに使ったらこうもなるわないやそれにしたって請求されすぎだろだからその原因を僕とマキセ氏が調べてるんじゃないかそれが分かるまで実験凍結って言ったのはオカリンだろああ。
If I got a part-time job, I can make the money to pay it off, but it's still a ridiculous amount of amount of money. I remember that she said one of her customers was interested in buying our gadgets. That might bring in some extra money. Oh, well, that's different in this world line. I wildly shake my eerie by the shoulders, but she didn't seem to have any recollection of the man. Anguished, I look up towards the heavens. But all I could see was a dirty ceiling. As I murmured to myself, Daru and Mayuri exchanged glances. Behind them, Kirisu and Lukako were also looking at each other. I don't know how Okabe does it. I really don't. I looked into each of my now assembled lab mem's eyes and turned, scolding them. The lab mem started scolding me instead. I peel the banana and start munching on it. I just set up listing or a listing online for number nine, homing diva, number ten, surprise specs, and number eleven, one scoop prevails. But there's no sign they're going to sell. I remember the pain of those decidedly not toy spec electric shocks I had, and I shivered, yeah. Huh? What are you Mayuri raised her hand. Mayuri rarely takes initiative on future gadget ideas, so this is impressive. Uh. Yeah, let's do it. Everyone looked at Mayuri in surprise. どういうこと Myri really thought about this, wearing a rare look of intense focus. But her answer was pure Myuri. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. まあ、どんな理由にしろ、ちょっと無理な話ね。人間のクローンは認められていないし。Is it? 
どっちにしろだマユリそっくりのロボットが作れたとしても宿題をやる速度は2倍にはならんぞ宿題がわからんというやつが2倍になるだけだ I mean it's true I imagine Mayuri and Robo Mayuri saying I get it in unison She sounded kind of sad. I mean, I'd be sad if I got rejected for having a, a robot me or a clone me. We didn't come up with any good ideas. We agreed to sleep on it and regroup later, and then we called our roundtable discussion to an end. That was not the right word to use there, but whatever. This game has a lot of mistakes. Okay, we'll end it here, probably a little shorter than I think it's going to be of an episode because of all the skipping I had to do, but yeah, here we go, the final route. Feels like it's all coming together here after all the lovely antics, and I mean, the first save literally goes back to more than a year ago, so yeehaw on that one, boys. Thank you all for watching this episode, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, all that fantastic stuff, if you'd like to, of course, and we will definitely power through and finally, after so long, get through this goddamn game. And I hope you'll join me for it. Take it easy, everybody.